welcome to What We Watch After Dark. I'm Nathan, and today we are going to be talking about Bright Burn. It is a 2019 movie. It's basically what what people keep saying shortly, which it's not really, is that it's like if Superman went bad. And that's not what this is. This is a horror film that is about... Uh, what all horror films are about. Coming of age, teenage sexual frustration. The kid hit 12 and started finding out that he had all this, these powers or whatever. Flight, and beams coming out of his, his eyes are, you know, and strength and invulnerability seem to be part of his powers. We know that he can Swiss cheese a house. This film for once, I would say it needed to add an hour and 30 minutes was not long, long enough for this. And you could tell it was rushed and it almost felt, you know, I don't know. It felt like a horror film, but kind of a throwaway. I mean, the kid's mask is based after uh, Wasp, which he was talking about as, as Predator. You know, I think that's what it really came down to. Are you a bee or a wasp? And he decided he was not only going to be a wasp, but be a good, bad wasp. <laughs> uh, why don't I go ahead and let you see the trailer? Roll. We believe that you came here for a reason. He was in the barn. Did he find it? No. It was like he was drawn to it. He may look like us. He's not like us. Welcome back. Now that you have an idea of what the movie is and whatnot, like I said, it needs it needed more time to develop characters to truly get. It was a good idea, and I like how they separate it as much as they can from the DC Superman story. I think that it is nothing like that at all outside of the pod hitting the ground and mom and pa. But the thing I really liked was that the Elizabeth Banks was in this and I'm a huge Elizabeth Banks fan. I also like Kyle Briner 
and Jackson A. Dunn. Jackson A. Dunn played the Brandon, you know, and Brandon, it was really interesting how they shot this part because they showed him get taller through the film, like adolescence, you know, a growth spurt or whatever, to when he gets to his full height, which he looks a lot older and a lot more menacing. I think that the movie could have been more, and I think that they set it up for more, because if you watch the end credits, you'll see that he's making news now. I'm going to give this movie a 6.5 and say, if you like horror film with with gore, go with this. Uh, this is this is gory. And, and it has a lot of good scare in it. You know, a lot of jump scare kind of stuff. I just want you guys to know, I love you. Please like and subscribe. I love you guys. I hope to see you next week. And I want you to always remember. Get your That's why I'm not feeling like myself. That's why I'm not feeling like myself. That's why I'm not feeling like myself. That's why I'm not feeling like myself.